good evening uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot.com today i'm talking about uh, uh, wpf uh, text box properties attributes uh, okay so uh, a text box having some properties uh, like the multi lines uh, and the single line span tags run tags spell checks and etc etc so uh, the single property that is text uh, through which we can display text messages on the uh, in the text box so uh, here uh, we have a stack panel and inside in it a text box so a single text box having a only the text property that is hello world <coughs> and the text block control oops uh, text box accept return it means uh, we can um, accept the ent key, um, enter key <coughs> text wrapping pr property it means the uh, just after uh, touch uh, the border uh, of the right side of your panel the text is carry on in the next line so text wrapping is wrap and the text property which is display text on the screen and accept return it means the uh, if you want to uh, put the text in the next line so you can use enter key just after any characters so uh, in the third uh, text box also we use accept return if that is true and also we use spell check uh, spell check is enable equals to true it means uh, you can check your spellings uh, it, uh, is it is correct or not uh, according to the languages that is uh, use preferred language e and us uh, that is predefined language so uh, we can put all such languages here okay uh, the name property uh, define the text box uh, through which we can access the text box in the code behind file uh, selection text uh, is a event uh, that is selection changed event actually sorry uh, for misunderstanding and miss uh, okay and now the selection changed that is event handler uh, through which when we can when we select any text and any character that event is raised mm. okay now i want to display that some messages or the length properties of the text uh, message uh, on the text block so we use the text block name property that is result okay mm. in the code behind file i want to get the word uh, character size and the selected text uh, on the message box or you can say the text block so it's just too much simple in the selection changed event we can define all these properties so here we can access the text blocks by using result so result dot text dot text plus equals to uh, t1 dot that is the t1 is the name of the text block so I want to get the selection start from uh, actually I want to uh, get the selection where, uh, where we select the text of the string that is t1.selection start environment dot a new line result dot text plus equals to selected character which character I select uh, from the given string so we can um, pick the character and get the character that is t1 dot selection length how much character in the word so we can get the 
using the selection length property result dot text plus equals to selected text plus p1 dot selection select selected text okay that's fine uh, you can check one by one property uh, it will take some time to run the applications <coughs> Yeah, the default uh, message on in the single uh, first text box that is hello world uh, we can write in the single line only uh, it does not uh, accept the uh, enter key okay in the second line we can use uh, enter key that is uh, yeah fine in the third uh, text box also uh, we can use the enter key also we can use the spell check in the last uh, we can start the from zero character is zero and the selected text is nothing so in the third text box we can get the spell check so thank you thank you very much for uh, for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials thank you thank you very much